you are breaking those boundaries. You're, you know, pursuing that degree that no one else pursues. My name is Esteban Sorante Rivera. I'm a civil engineering major at George Fox University. I just woke up, um, you know, about half an hour ago. Now I'm just gonna get ready for school because I am a commuter, you know, from here, Woodburn, up to, you know, Newburgh. And yeah, it should be a good ride. You know, we just listen to bangers. Bangers. I also want to talk a little bit about commuting. It's not that difficult. You have to really manage your time really well. Yeah, you to, you know, prep those meals beforehand. It's a much cheaper option. And yeah, let's get to it. And right now we're going to go to our first class of the day, which is steel design. We're going to talk about, you know, how to work with steel, how to analyze structures. And um, it's a very important class if you want to major in civil engineering. And, you know, if you want to be a structural engineer, which is a subgroup of civil engineering, and um, yeah, let's see what we learn and let's go for it. What up guys, that was uh, Steel Design. And um, yeah, I'm gonna get some lunch right now. What are you guys following me over? Um, we're about to eat right now. So I wanna touch a little bit about saving and you know, commuting, you know, and what comes with that is, you know, the idea of where am I gonna get my lunch? For me personally, I I think the cheapest option for me is just bringing my own lunch. So I ain't gonna go, you know, pay like 30 bucks to <laughs> go eat at Burger King or something, you know, per week. You know, I'm just gonna save that money, save it for later, and um, just eat some sandwiches, you know. Just came back from lunch, uh, and now it's water resources. Um, it's a class where we're gonna talk about how water flows to the system. Welcome to Water Resources Engineering. Actually, you know, before we get started, um, God, thanks for uh, this day and for um, all the good things you've given to us. Help us to trust in you for all the things in our life. In your name, pray. Amen. We got done with water resources. Right now we're in the Maker Hub, which is sort of like the facility for us engineers. We're back here, you know, in the Maker Hub rooms. Um, usually I'm doing homework here, you know, you're grinding it out. Specifically why I'm here right now is I'm gonna do a little bit of um, helping my father's business out in painting, using social media, marketing it, and um, using the website, you know, creating a website as well. just got done with our painting management. I guess right now I just want to talk about um, how I want to help my community and um, why I'm here. Why am I a civil engineer? For starters, I was able to have a mentor, you know, a civil engineering mentor in my senior year of high school. Up to that point, you know, I have never heard about civil engineering. No one in my school ever taught me about it. So yeah, he really was, you know, that kind of stone block that enabled me to be here. If I have some advice for you guys is to go back to your community, you know, your roots and, you know, share about yourself, share about your experience and, you know, offer those mentorship programs, which are very much needed, you know, and especially in marginalized communities, you know, it can be, it can be life-changing and for me it was. We're gonna go right now into our servant engineering class. Servant engineering is really a class where you're able to use your engineering skills to do, to be part of a project that's, you know, purpose is to help others. Um, in my case, uh, as a civil engineer and with the group that's mostly civil engineers, we are doing a project where we're going to do a sort of model of solid waste and its issues and probably causes and factors in Iquitos, Peru. So right now we're going to go and, you know, think of a strategy of what to do next. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Wait, can you do a man bun, Jeff? I've, I can actually do a man, but my wife hates it. <laughs> so, good afternoon, guys. Um, I'm here with my professor, Jeffrey Walters. So, we're just going to talk a little bit with him about um, his experience, you know, civil engineering, being a professor, and uh, why he chose Fox. I think it's providential. I was applying for a lot of jobs. I was in Chile at the time, being a, um, an engineering professor um, in Universidad Diego Portales in Santiago. Mm -hmm. And there was one job that popped out, like out of all the, out of the 60 jobs I applied for. Um, George Fox. I was like, well, George Fox? I've never heard of George Fox before. What is this? 
Oh, interesting. Is they have an engineering program and they are a Christian institution. Kind of cool to think, okay, what if I if I got a job at a place where I could actually be overt about my 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 sort of faith? Oh, and how amazing would it be to be able to teach and talk about that with my students? You know, here I am now about three years into it, and I'm seeing certain certain things unfolding here within within Fox that I, that are really exciting and are showing me that this is exactly what I need to be doing. Where I needed to be. Yeah, I mean, thank you for you know being willing to speak about your experience, and um, you know, especially coming into Fox, and also you speak Spanish, so that is a major plus, you know, for us civils um, that you know are Spanish speakers. Honestly, Estefan, your students like you are the reason why I like I really am excited about this job. So thank you for being. Thanks to you for being awesome, um, and, and for again inspiring me forward as a teacher. I'm back in my car again <laughs> for the third time. Yeah, and right now I'm going to talk about um, is it worthwhile to do college? Because my brother's off to college. Well, he's thinking about it. You know, he's a senior right now. And one of the things I told him is college is worthwhile if you have a plan. You know, do that first year. If you feel like you're really, you know, you're growing as a person. If you feel like you're growing as an individual. If you feel like you're learning more. If you feel like you're actually enjoying it and not just doing it, you know push through with it, you know. Um, I'm the first generation student, you know. You are breaking those boundaries. You're, you know, pursuing that degree that no one else pursues. When you think about college, you're like, oh, am I gonna find, you know, individuals that, you know, grew up like how I grew up, that have similar experience to me. I think that's necessary. I think it's, it's good, to, but I think what's more important is finding individuals that share the same values as you. I think this, the Linux community here in, in Newburgh is, uh, is pretty good, you know, especially the LHC club. It's a really great club, you know, really warm, really friendly. So that, you know, I would suggest that if you come here to Fox, that's what I would suggest. I'm here with my three closest friends. We got Nick here. He is the maker of manager. We got Jenny, the only Latina engineering major that I know of my grade. We got Julio. He's the first Latinx biomedical engineer from this school. He's gonna graduate. Now, we're just gonna talk a little bit about uh, what do you like about Fox? My favorite part about working at Fox mm. is getting to interact with the students. And I love that part, getting to go to church with them, worship. Mm. Um, yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I love Fox. I mm. think uh, one of the my favorite things is that strong sense of community that we mm. have here. The relationships with our professors and our peers, mm. and especially engineers, it's such a, like, cool group it feels like a big family you mm. know with older mm. brothers and sisters probably the community is like my favorite thing about fox you don't really have to fight to make friends you don't really have to mm. struggle to be heard yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, my three closest friends as engineers we're about to get some studying done so catch you guys later so we're back here in uh, woodburn we got a client uh homie brandon we're about to give them the cut cut right now. What time is it right now? Like about to be 11, 10 30 or so. And um, yeah, let's get this done. Got done with the haircut. The homie Brandon got a mid fade. And uh, he's looking crispy. Um, we just got done with the cuts. Um, it's like 11 30 right now. I mean, thank you guys for watching. I hope this was at least somewhat helpful, you know? Clearing up some ideas about George Fox, about college, about all that stuff. See you guys on the other side, you know? Catch y'all later.